Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going to watch Sheffield Wednesday versus Oxford United at Hillsborough. But before we get into that video, have you seen last week's video? We went to watch Nottingham Forest versus Millwall and it was a great atmosphere. There were some crazy Millwall fans there as well. And um, yeah, I set a like target of 15 likes for that video and you actually smashed it. It's got about 104, 105 likes now, which is amazing. It's my best performing video so far. And um, I was pretty proud of it as well. So if you could go and watch that one after this one, that'd be greatly appreciated. But for this video, we'll up the like target again this week to 20 likes. And hopefully, you know, we can meet it this time. So that'd be great. Um, but on to this video, similar to Nottingham Forest, Sheffield are actually one of the oldest teams in the English Football League. Um, they're actually the third oldest team, um, if you include Stoke, because they were established in 1863, but the date of their establishment uh, isn't 100% um, noted, so it's hard to tell when they were established. But if we include them, because most people do, Chef Wednesday are the third oldest team in the Football League. They originally get the Wednesday part of their name um, off the back of the fact that the, the, the club formed um, off the back of a cricket club. Uh, called the Wednesday Cricket Club in Sheffield um, and they used to play football in the winter to keep themselves fit for the cricket season um, and Wednesday was the only day that the uh, members of the club had off so that is why they're called Sheffield Wednesday. Um, they've also got the nickname the Owls uh, after they moved to Alton, um, a small town outside of Sheffield uh, to play their games uh, early on in their club history um, but instead of having an owl as a mascot they actually used to have a monkey which is a pretty strange uh, idea for a mascot. And it was an actual real monkey as well, as you can see on the screen. But obviously now they have the uh, famous owl. We're going to be sat in the north stand today. Um, and if you're looking onto the pitch, it's like the left-hand side. Um, we're going to have a good view. And over to our right will be the Leppings Lane stand, which is uh, unfortunately where the tragic Hillsborough disaster happened in 1989. Everybody knows about the Hillsborough disaster, absolute tragic event where 96 Liverpool fans uh, lost their lives. Um, it's actually recently been updated to 97 as one of the survivors had long-term issues uh, caused by the disaster and he has also recently died. Um, but uh, that's dampened the mood down a bit, so let's hype it back up. Um, Sheffield Wednesday have not been in the Premier League since year 2000 where they got relegated after drawing with Arsenal. Um, but they won the League Cup in 1991 um, and that actually makes them the last team to win an English major trophy uh, whilst not being in the Premier League. Um, obviously Wigan won the FA Cup in 2013 after beating Man City and got relegated in the same season but when they actually won the FA Cup um, it was still on the season um, when they were in the Premier League so that doesn't count. Chef Wednesday unfortunately got relegated from the Championship last year finishing bottom place. Um, there are only three points from safety which is even more gutting when you know that they got a six point deduction at the start of the season for um, uh, they, they basically included the sale of Hillsborough um, twice in their financial records. They included it in the 2017-18 records and the 15-16 records. So, uh, and they did that to try and avoid financial fair play issues with the league. So they got a six point deduction and it ultimately led to their relegation. Let's have a look at the trophies for the team then. Chef Wednesday have won four first divisions, five championship trophies, one league one, three FA Cups, one league cup and one community shield. Whereas Oxford United, on the other hand, have one championship trophy, two league cups, and um, sorry, two league ones and one league cup. Former Sheffield Wednesday uh, players also hold the record for the fastest red card in uh, Football League history uh, when Kevin Pressman actually handballed it outside the area against Wolves in 2000 after 13 seconds played. And um, David Hurst also uh, holds the uh, fastest uh, shot ever recorded in the Premier League. Um, when he in 1996 where he hit a shot at 114 miles per hour which is actually close to the average speed of an F1 car. Former players include Paulo Di Canio um, who played for Sheffield Wednesday but his time was ultimately um, sort of made by the fact that he got a red card and pushed the referee over. Um, obviously West Ham player Mikel Antonio who featured last week also playing for Nottingham Forest. Uh, Chelsea player and former Everton player Ross Barkley as well as played for the Owls. And uh, if we look at Oxford, their best players over the years, Kamar Roof, obviously the most recent player playing for them, um, Liverpool's John Aldridge, and also Graham Atkinson, who's Oxford United's all-time top goal scorer with 107 goals. Sam Winnell also plays for Oxford United at the minute. Um, 
And he used to play for Sheffield Wednesday as well, but he's only made a couple of appearances this season, so I don't think he'll be making too much uh, impact today. Whilst on the topic of Oxford United, they were pro promoted to the Football League from non-league in 1962, which is pretty late in terms of football in history, as Sheffield Wednesday had already won 13 out of their 15 trophies by that point. Um, due to financial struggles, Oxford were nearly uh, merged with Reading in 1983, but because uh, the fans kicked off, it sort of fell through from both sets of fans. Um, they won the League Cup in uh, 1986, qualifying themselves for European football. However, because of the Hessel Stadium disaster um, the year before, there was a five-year ban on English teams in European competition. So unfortunately, Oxford never got to play in Europe, despite winning the Cup. If you don't know, the Hessel Stadium disaster was um, happened in a game uh, between Liverpool and Juventus in the 1985 um, European Cup final. Basically, a lot of Liverpool fans charged uh, towards the Juventus fans, uh, leading to some deaths um, as well, which obviously wasn't great. Liverpool got a six-year ban from the competition. English teams got a five-year ban. So a few teams missed out uh, from the English titles and things for playing in Europe. Um, after they won uh, the Cup, they've had a few up and down years going up and down through the leagues, but they were eventually relegated to um, the non-league in 2006, um, which made them the first um, team to ever win a major trophy in England and then get relegated out of the Football League. Um, and they were promoted back uh, into uh, they were promoted back into the Football League uh, afterwards um, in 2010, and then they managed to find promotion in 2016 back to League One. They also nearly returned to the Championship last year, or the year before, sorry, in 2020, but they lost the playoff final to Wickham, so they just missed out. Um, another fun fact, Oxford is supposedly um, supported by Richard Branson. There's got to be a joke about virgins in there somewhere, surely. Um, like Richard Branson, just a bit off topic, Like he just looks a bit off, doesn't he? He looks like as if the Honey Monsters fell into a bit of money or something. Like I don't know, I'm just not a fan of him. Anyway, Back on track, Sheffield Wednesday are currently ninth in League One. Um, the level on points with Oxford, they've won four games, drawn three and lost two. Um, Oxford had the better goal difference though, as they won 5-1 last Tuesday, so with just a head on goal difference. However, Sheffield Wednesday do have a game in hand. Um, the fixture normally ends with quite a tight game. It's normally pretty low scoring between the two teams and over half of the games played between the two have ended in either a 1-0 win or a 1-1 draw. So, it's going to be very close today. Chef Wednesday have won 9, there's been 11 draws, and Oxford have won 10, so it's going to be very, very close. Today, we're going to be donating money to the uh, Sheffield Royal Society for the Blind, depending on the result and score of today's game. They're obviously a great uh, charity that help blind people in the Sheffield area and also the surrounding areas to Sheffield. Um, so, yeah, they're going to be a great charity. I'll uh, put the donation link in the description below if you want to help out and donate too. Um, and this, uh, this week, we've travelled a fair distance. It takes our season miles to a total of 1,391. Sorry about that, just checking the camera. Um, and that is the same distance that uh, the Moldavian uh, Champions League heavyweight, Sheriff Tiraspol, um, are going to have to travel in their next game in the group to go to the San Siro to play Inter Milan. That's pretty much it, guys, really. That's all the history between the two clubs, recent form, ex-players, etc., Let's get all the way down to Hillsborough and go and watch the game. Okay, so we've made it into the stadium. Um, there's about 20 minutes till kick off. Um, all the Oxford players and the Sheffield Wednesday players are out warming up, so not long till kick off now, really. Uh, just waiting about till then, but yeah, the Oxford fans are here. They're just to my right, so it'll be interesting to see what happens, really. Quick little score prediction as well. I reckon, um, like I say, it's always a tight game between the two teams, low scoring, tight game. 
thinking 1-0 Sheffield Wednesday, personally. Oxford's team plus came pretty late as well, so they're not going to be fully warmed up. So yeah, I'm definitely thinking 1-0. 1-0 Sheffield Wednesday today. Okay, so it's full time. Um, Oxford United nicked it in the last minute and they won 2 1. Um, very much against the run of play, to be fair, if you ask me. Um, Sheffield Wednesday had a terrible first half, but I think they know that. Um, the fans, fans were very vocal about it and they came out in the second half and put on a lot of their performance. But um, Oxford were just average all game. They weren't awful, they weren't bad, they weren't good just average and um, it's a shame really the game probably did deserve to be a draw uh, in my opinion um, the Oxford fans started off really loud obviously they were loud when they scored but for the majority of the game they were just average Sheffield Wednesday fans started off really 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 loud and again they similarly went to uh, just like a, a, a decent quieter level um, so yeah it was a bit of a nothing game really um, few good shots uh, from outside the box that came close to going in, one from Oxford and one from Chef, uh, Chef Wednesday at the very end, uh, Barry Bannon hit the bar. Um, I'll overlay a few clips now while I'm talking of some of the chances that happened in the game. Um, we were donating, uh, how many goals was there? Three. £16 to the uh, Sheffield Royal, I'm out of breath guys, sorry, I'm walking uphill, it's really hilly in Sheffield. but. Yeah, we'll be donating £16 to the Sheffield Royal Society for the Blind, which is always good. That's one positive out of the game. Um, 
trying to think of anything that I've not covered. It's absolutely chucking it down. I'm wet through. Um, I don't know where I'm going next week, guys. I've not um, actually got any tickets yet. So if your team's playing on the 9th of uh, October, Saturday the 9th of October next week, and you want me to come and see you, and I've not seen you yet already this season, then let me know in the comments, and I'll probably come and see you. So, yeah. Um, apart from that, guys, I don't, I don't really know if I've missed anything, really. Um, decent atmosphere, really good pie. I had a really, really nice pie at half-time. Um, Chef Wednesday pies win the pies so far. Um, which I think beat Chef United. I think Chef United was the reigning pie holder, so uh, that's a bit of a rivalry for the pies. Um, but yeah, yeah, like I say, probably not going to do great in views this video because uh, the home team didn't get a result, but it was an okay game. Um, nothing, nothing great, awful weather, not really much more to say to be honest. Um, yeah, I hope you liked the video. Like, comment and subscribe if you did. Um, I want to try and get to 150 subs, so yeah, I'll see you next week.